welcome back for another video. Today I'll be doing an empties 2014. This is my first one because I finally have enough products to show you guys. A bucket full of empty beauty and skincare products that I've used. Maybe it took years, it took a couple months, last year. Who knows, but I'm just gonna show you what I have in here so far. Pull one thing out. Okay, this is not a beauty product. It is the pomegranate and berries with Reserv Reservatrol Super Juice drink is really good. You can find this at Walmart in the um, beverage, cold beverage, beverage section. It is organic. It's made with natural products. It's nutrient rich. It's delicious. It's easily accessible and the brand is Genesis Today. It's not a beauty product, but it was in the basket. So next. I have Cetaphil Moisturizing Cream. I've been using this for years. I will not, not branch out of mo uh, the Cetaphil Moisturizer. I use all of their products. The Moisturizing Cream, the Moisturizing Lotion, the, the um, Sensitive, what is it called? The Cleanser to wash your face, the Cleanser to wash your body, all of it. I got this one at Costco. Last year, it does take me that long to um, to finish this thing because it's huge. I don't use a lot of it. And it is for dry, sensitive skin. My skin is very sensitive, so this is what worked for me. And, then, and if any of you guys out there have sensitive skin, dry skin, and none of the moisturizers have worked, it made you break out, and you really need a moisturizer, I would say try the Cetaphil line. It is really great. Next is the Gentle Skin Cleanser. It is the Travel Pack and this is what I use. I use the bigger one for my face when I wash my face at the end of the day. And this is a travel size so I don't think I'm going to throw this out. I'm probably going to put whatever is in the big bottle in here so that when I travel I can take this little stuff with me. But this is what I, this is what I use and it's empty so I wanted to show you guys. Okay. Here is the four pack. Ah! Here is the four packs um, refill for my Chic Quattro shaver. It is also a trimmer, and I've had the the actual shaver itself for years. It's so much cheaper to buy an actual shaver and buy the refills than buying this, those disposable ones because those go away like crazy. They get dull easily. These ones don't. I've had this one for almost a year and I've already run out. Bought the green ones because it is sensitive and it's hypoallergenic and made with aloe. That's why I bought the green one and it fits perfectly with my shaver. I'm sure I could use the other ones, but because it, it specifically said hypoallergenic with aloe, I chose that one. Again, for my sensitive skin, thank God for people who make products for people with sensitive skin. Here is the Summer's Eve body wash. My cousin introduced this to me last year and I've been loving it ever since. This is the sensitive one. <laughs> for cleaning wash for sensitive skin, the one in pink. Um, I think I've had this for, let's see, for like almost four months now. now I don't know if that's good, that is me saving products, but I use a little bit at a time. It's not because I don't take showers, I take showers all the time. It's just when I have like little bottles like these, this seems like a little bottle to me. I like to use a little bit in these body washes, a little bit does go a long way. I use it for my whole body. Some Kit Kat. <gasps> Ooh, this one some Euro cream. Now this is not from here. Our friend just came back from Croatia. Was it Croatia? She brought us some um, European chocolate from her trip and it is delicious. Oh, I, oh, it tastes so good. It came with like four blocks, I think, in one and I savored it and it took me a whole day just to eat one block. I love European chocolate. So good, so delicious. Mm. Ooh, I finally finished this thing. I've had this for a year. This one is the L'Oreal True Match um, Crayon Corrector or Concealer. I used it till it can't 
twist no mo. I really do love this thing and when I have a product or when I have makeup that I really like, I don't like to branch out. I don't like to see what else is new. I mean, if this worked for me, why not keep using it until it, you know, I finish it. And so now it's finished. I'm thinking whether I should get the same one or get the sister of this one. I don't know. This one it was in light medium. Next empty is the doctor rescue this was also in my favorites my january favorites i love love this thing i bought another one exactly like it because i love it so so much i have another baby lips which is the orange stick but the tint is red but this one i had for almost a year because it is really red and then the more i put on as like a chapstick you know when you wear chapstick you just like slather it on there but with this I would just dab it on there because if I put too much my lips are gonna be super red and I didn't like that but I really like the baby lips line one of my favorites is the the, the doctor rescue and coral and it would have to be in this one is my next favorite and another one is not even a brand it's a chapstick from my orthodontist office back at home I put this in here because of the texture it was very buttery it was so delicious it, it the flavor was bubblegum oh it was one of my favorites there had to send me four more of them in the mail so now I have a whole stock of my old orthodontist chapstick <laughs> next is Oh, ooh, I feel so bad for throwing away makeup. This is the e.l.f. blush. The e.l.f. blush. And this shade is way too light. I don't even know why I even bother putting it on. You can't even see a thing. The color is Innocence and it is way too light for me. Like I said already, it's way too light so I'm not even gonna bother stressing myself out and being frustrated every time I pull it out and put it on my face. This was a total miss. Um, I was looking for a really good, a good but affordable, yet I don't want to spend too much because I'm, my face is so, you know, sensitive I can't put a lot of stuff on it. This is um, a face exfoliator. I was looking up face exfoliators and they look exactly like this. This one is, was a dollar at Dollar Tree. Now there was nothing wrong with it, it's just it hurts my face. So the last item that I have is a Revlon Photo Ready BB Cream. I love this thing. I used this till it was all gone. You can barely squeeze anything out of it. I'm not a big fan of foundations. I haven't used a foundation in a long time. Before this one, I had, well, besides the Bare Minerals foundation, but it was very light. Um, it wasn't the, it wasn't cakey. That's what I don't like about foundations is that it's cakey. And the one before the Bare Minerals, I used the Clinique Tinted Moisturizer. Now that was light also. If you can see where I'm going with, you know, my type of skin and my type of makeup is very light. And if you guys haven't tried this, I really I highly recommend it. It really does do what it says on the package. It says Skin Perfector. Um, is that it? The thing is, it's a skin perfector. Before, ugh, when I didn't have this, I had to use the CoverStick Corrector Concealer. As you can see, I really barely used it. I needed it for my red spots. I had red all over my face that I had to go out and hunt one of these. I was YouTubing a lot of BB creams and this one came up, the Revlon Photo Ready. I used it and within weeks, for a couple days and within weeks my face started getting really really nice and not as red <sighs> i just love this stuff okay guys thank you for watching my very first empties 2014 it may take a couple more years or maybe another year till i do another one it takes that long to empty a beauty product or a skincare product because i don't like to waste besides this like this blush powder which you know, it's a given, you can't even see it, so might as well. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in my next video. Bye!